Hi guys and welcome to Legendary Reef's first ever video review. Um, I'm Dwayne, I'm, I'm presenting this video. If I do make any mistakes throughout this video, please give me a shout out on the discussion below. Um, this is my very first video review, so please bear with me. Um, so here we go. So what we're reviewing today is the Pacific Sun Core 5th dosing pump and um, it is a new dosing pump that they just released and we just got our hands on it in South Africa here so um, let's run over what you find inside the box now in the box of course you find the main unit itself and um, the pumps are put in upside down but very easily removable and placed in the right way around uh, I believe they put it in that way for packaging purposes and um, you will find a disc that contains the manual the program and the firmware of the system um, as well as some piping um, for medium flow, some precision flow piping, um, some syringes and um, calibration fluid. You will find a heater module um, for a uh, heater sensor for reading temperature, as well as a automatic dose, automatic top-up pump for automatic top-ups, as well as a float switch for your automatic top-up system, um, a nice little um, pipe holder here that you can hook onto your aquarium for your dosing pump pipes, um, as well as a little cylinder there for if you want to um, calibrate any of your sensors as well as very small high flow piping which um, you could use for um, wanting to replace those and then of course the antennae for the Bluetooth system so yeah it's a pretty fully loaded little box that we have here it looks like a pretty insane dosing pump it's got a variety of settings and features available um, which I will be posting on the video itself just a quick list of everything it can do and um, let's switch over to quickly plugging it in setting it up on the PC and running through with you guys how to install this thing so guys we're back again yeah and we got our dosing pump all set up and ready to go I got my antenna installed um, the sensor the temperature sensor at the back here it's all on and going so let's connect it to our PC and see how it goes Okay guys, we're back and I'm quickly going to show you how to basically install the software of your dosing pump as well as connecting it, um, installing the latest firmware on it as well as running quickly through the program itself. Now with the device you do get a CD with the software included but what I would recommend is going to Pacific Sun's website and just downloading the latest software and firmware from that. Um, I, would, I was told to go to the Pacific Sun USA com site because they have the latest firmware and software available there it's fairly easy um, go to support downloads and you should find it pretty quickly the firmware as well as the software and if you need it you can also download the manual for your dosing pump now I already went ahead and downloaded and installed those and um, so uh, let's skip on to the next step where I'll quickly show you how to connect your device now what you need to do is go to your network and internet center Settings on the control panel then your network connections you should find your Bluetooth network device there um, just make sure that it is enabled um, if it's not please do so and then we can get ahead from there now let's take a look now after installing the program open it up you should see your connections window over here and then um, a com port and showing you can connect to your device make sure your device is on before connecting and um, everything is ready and then we can go ahead um, as of my case my device is on a com5 connection and then we can basically just click connect and it should show you in the description at the bottom that my device is successfully connected and then when when we're connected we can set out and start with the next cool do note though if your device does fail to connect um, it could be one or two different pr small problems that you're dealing with um, as in my case um, I had to first go to my network settings over here um, open up my Bluetooth devices and I actually had to first physically add it as a new device um, just letting to install the driver software and as, as soon as I did that it um, straightforward connected with no hassles um, the other problem could be that you just connecting to the wrong com port um, and you could just check that under properties as soon as your device is connected on your Bluetooth system so let's go ahead and check out this program 
Now guys, let's take a look at this program itself. So my device is now connected and we are ready to go. Um, so basically on your main window over here, it just basically um, tells you the basic stuff. You can set your time and date of the device. It will actually tell you your highest and lowest temperatures and the actual temperature it is currently. Since I only got my, I got my temperature probe plugged in there, it is giving me a reading there. Then from there, we can go to our next tab. Basically this will and um, be our dose settings it's very straightforward very simple and um, what you first need to do of course is read this if you want to edit them read the settings off your pump and then it will immediately kick up I already have a couple of readings that I put into there if you want to edit them go forth edit them you will see the schedule change as you edit e each individual pump and then if you wish to save that to your dosing pump you just basically check the box of which pump you want to override click save and it will basically just save it to that pump from there on out we can look at the manual control system of the pump this just allows you to control each pump separately um, as well as setting the flow rating of each pump now um, because I'm only dosing um, specific chemicals like calcium magnesium all of that I want it to be more precise but if you're going to be using um, it for a water change method um, you would like it to be on a faster flow just to get it pumping quicker but if using something like of it um, you would like to get it more precise and then from at the bottom here you can just calibrate each pump itself just to calibrate that it is giving you precise um, measurements now from there on out we can go to the liquid status it's just a basic overlay of each um, chemical that you are currently dosing how much is left how much um, you usually keep how many doses you have to do how many days are left um, in the next tab then we can look at our liquid status setup um, here it just allows you to basically change the names of each um, liquid that you are dosing as well as the capacity amount in each of those containers um, the next tab that we can take a look at is our auto top up system or our temperature configuration tab as well and um, this just gives you a couple of settings how you would like to automatically dose uh, dose your system with the refill water and it gives you a couple of settings here like alarms or that can go off if the water runs a bit dry or anything like that then of course in your temperature sensor section here you can set the highest or lowest temperature you can allow this um, sensor to the, the device to give you a um, alarm that goes off if the temperature reaches a certain height or low and then from there on out we can look at our automatic water change system and then this you basically just put in your information of your tank tell it how much liters you would like to change on a weekly basis it gives you an exact instruction instruction list here of how to do that and then on your last and final um, tab we have here it's just your basic service tab um, you, where you can just reset the device update your firmware all of that now um, for those guys who want to update the firmware it's fairly easy the firmware that we have downloaded we just go to firmware upgrade select the file we downloaded and it will automatically update in my case I have not updated the firmware because it was told to me that in certain areas the firmware can cause glitches with the system so we are sticking to the older firmware and then um, but it seems to be working no problem whatsoever and that is it guys I'll leave the links at the bottom of the video of the website from um, Pacific Sun as well as if there's any questions please give me a shout and thanks for watching